this has been happening with the, with the last government. But after the swearing in of the current president, His Excellency William Samoy Ruto, he gave an, a, a statement himself. He abolished the unit. It has really, you know, it has been halted for few, I think, few months, but it came back. This thing is now uh, with us. So many people are missing. Uh, other than the elected leader, we have so many civilians that are missing. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the statements are all over in the police stations. Unfortunately, now it came to the leaders. We are, we, we are missing an MCA. Tomorrow it will come to the members of parliament. It will, it will come to the governors. It will come to the senators. We cannot accept this kind of you know, uh, issues happening in our country. We cannot accept at all. We gave this scenario to the president 21st uh, August last, last month. We gave the president this issue. Few days later, I think around four people were released. Meaning the president must have acted. What we want the government to do, starting from the president, is to make sure this issue is approached so that this issue does not happen anymore. We want the release of this MCA as quickly as possible. 90% it is in the hands of the government. It is in the hands of our security agents. Because by now, dead or alive, we could have known where, he, where, where this MCA is. We want the release of this MCA, and we want this issue to be, uh, to be halted. This issue needs to be stopped, and we want a commission of inquiry formed by the president himself. Kenya is not a banana republic. It is a country that is supposed to be governed by the rule of law. And as far as we are concerned, the Constitution of Kenya has not been suspended. And what we are asking as uh, people from the region, fellow colleagues of Honorable Yusuf of Dela Ward, we say if there is any Kenyan from any part of this country who has been found or suspected to have done something wrong, anything wrong, wrong in law, then he should be subjected to the processes that are well established in the laws of this country. An MCA, a leader, who has been abducted for weeks, cannot be missing. If he's a criminal and there is sufficient evidence to pin him down, we expect that we request the government to bring him to the courts of law so that he can face justice. But he can't be missing a leader. If he's missing tomorrow, I'll be missing. I'm equally a leader. So we want the rule of law and the, uh, the just criminal justice system to be functional. Since the hijacking and the unfortunate disappearance of the MCA has ignited public, uh, widespread public outrage, intensifying the demand for clear answers, swift and decisive action, the continued silence to death, even after reporting, and this being a state officer, being an elected officer. To date, no official communication has come out from the investigative agencies. This depends our fear and frustration. Any further delay risks eroding public trust in our security operators, and government must decisively act to restore this critical component of our governance structure.